Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove malware and viruses from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer using built-in software that Microsoft has on the Windows operating system. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So depending on the level of malware infection, you may want to consider just reinstalling Windows, doing a fresh factory reinstall of the operating system or system image. However, in some cases, if it's a minor malware infection or you just want to try and see if there's anything on your system, you might want to just use this Windows Defender software. Now, there are a lot of different applications out there. You can spend all day running different scans. However, Windows Security does a pretty good job nowadays of detecting most malware and viruses on your system. So if you just want to run a quick scan, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to determine that. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for security. Best match, should come back a Windows Security. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the left side, you want to select the three-lined icon to open up the navigation menu and select virus and threat protection. Select scan options. And then I would suggest running a full system scan, which will check all files and running programs on your hard disk. This scan could take longer than one hour. You can also select quick scan, check folders in your system where threats are commonly found. Custom scan, if you want to have a specific directory you want to scan for viruses or an offline scan, which can be useful if you're trying to detect certain malware viruses that might try and start up when your computer turns on. So this is actually a nice feature that they've finally included in Windows Defender that you know other antiviruses had as well. I believe Avast was one of the first ones to actually implement something like that, but that was quite a number of years ago. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and run a quick scan just for the simplicity's sake of keeping this tutorial more brief. However, in your case, if you haven't run a scan before, I would suggest running a full system scan. Go ahead and select Scan Now and give it some time to run. And then once that's finished, you would want to close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.